Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, it is that time again. Another shipment from Eagle Moss. A couple of more Star Trek Starships. I'm going to pop this open fairly quickly and just glance it over. It's pretty much the same ordeal. A couple of ships, a couple of magazines. They've been doing good as far as customer service. Haven't had any issues or hiccups. any complaints so let's hope it stays that way and we will see what we have can't remember what's coming this month but it won't take long to figure out Ta -da. here's what we have We have the Nausicaan Fighter, and we have number 31, Romulan Warbird, Valdor. Take a quick glimpse at the magazine, I'm betting it's the same sort of layout, got your contents. You've got, you know, your introduction into the Nausicaan fighter. A couple of pages there. Four pages, it looks like. A brief layout of the ship, or, you know, top and side and front view, or is that top and bottom? <laughs> Anyhow. And then there's a bit about visual effects interesting very interesting specifically about visual effects and not necessarily the Nausicans of the last TV series Enterprise so that's a bit of a change and then you get into designing the Nausicaan fighter And your on screen trivia, person last appearances. And what's coming next? The Valdor. Which we have right here. And same kind of layout. Contents. Your introduction to the ship, to the magazine, your starter four pages. And your layout. Or what do they call it? Ship profile. I rather wish these were ship profiles were more detailed, but whatever. Ah, Star Trek Nemesis screenwriter. Interesting. They're going into some different areas with these magazines. They gotta put something in here, though. Designing the Valdor. And. Ooh, the runabout's coming next. Nice. On screen trivia, la di da. And the Valdor basically just appeared towards the end of Star Trek Nemesis, if I remember correctly. So there may not be a lot to talk about, although I'd be interested to hear more about that species. But. Whatever. It's the ships that I'm most interested in and the ships that I want to share. We're getting into ships that I know even less and less about, which makes it even cooler that they're going to be a part of my collection. Here we have. We're in here. The ships are being packaged in here more securely than they used to be less likely to flop around but they're also a little bit tougher to get out and it worries me that I'm gonna break something. You just gotta kinda flex the plastic the right way. There we go. And it's got some nice weight to it. It's all plastic on top and oh no maybe not. Maybe 
Maybe it's metal on top. Hmm. Kind of hard to tell. But I know next to nothing about this ship. next to nothing about this but it's a neat looking ship I like the detail they have on it all the little arrays or guns or whatever they are sticking out the front somehow I thought this would be a brighter green area I don't know why oh, it's because of the picture on the on the magazine, I guess they can't do but so much with the actual model. I'm gonna hold it up off screen. Now, the light doesn't come through it, so I don't know. There's the underside, lots of detail, kind of a rough looking ship. Nausicaan fighter. <coughs> we shall place this on its stand. And these stands have been getting better as time goes on, so it seems like they're improving getting more secure. I know several of the first ships I got, you stick this in there as tight as you can, you could just pick it up and the base would fall right off. They would be wobbly. I remember having to sand the bottom of a few of them to get them to fit tight. I even made a video about that, but they seem to be improving, so good. I imagine this just slides right in there in that convenient looking, it belongs here sort of spot. And there you go. So moving on. To the Valdore. Or Valdor. And I think maybe on the Star Trek or the, the Facebook page of the Star Trek Starships, someone had had these little pontoon looking things get broke off. But wow, this is a very thin delicate as ship. Wow. This is a very fragile feeling ship. Can't have very much metal in it. it looks like maybe there's some metal. I think maybe this part is metal and the big larger plastic wing or larger wing is plastic. But it's very neat looking. These are very secure. I think somebody, maybe somebody had gotten this and one of these wasn't straight. So they went to pop it off and fix it back, which sometimes you do. I've had that issue with uh, another couple of ships with the sails. Again, I've made a video about that. But I remember thinking, if this one comes crooked, I'm not messing with it. Because I think they tried to break it off and, and they broke it. And not in a good way. So this seems to be... Mm. That seems to be really, really well done. Nice and straight. Very green. Lots of detail. At least as far as the... Um, uh, surface, um, the feel of it. There's not a lot of different color in it. That's nice. Look at the little side view. 
That's where some of the color is. It's a nice deep green. It's a delicate ship, but it's a nice looking one. Very different. Well, not very different. It's certainly an interesting evolution to their ships. I don't... You know, the, the previous Warbird, I think, is a lot bigger than this. So that's interesting that they would shrink it back down. But anyhow, let's throw this on the stand. And not go too far out of my comfort zone as far as my Star Trek knowledge. Because I'm sure someone will be the able to correct me. They're still putting the stickers on the bottom. Yeah, let's see if it holds true to the stand fitting good. Yeah. I can just see making a comment about the stands getting better and then this one sucks. Oh, that fits. It fits very cozily in there. Very nice. There you have it. Two, two more alien ships to add to the collection. They look nice. This one's got good weight. This one's very delicate but nicely detailed. These stands are far more solid than, than some of them have been in the past. So they're mounted very nicely. I'm pleased. I'm I have nothing to be unhappy about. I look forward to the next two ships. I hate that I have to wait a whole other month, almost. But I am pleased. These came out quickly. For a while there, I would get charged, and it would be three weeks before I would see a ship. But I got a charge, and like the very next day, I got an email saying it was on its way. And that was on a Friday or Saturday. I think it was a Friday. And Monday I had these. Today's Tuesday. Yesterday, busy day. There you go. Still very pleased. A lot less to complain about. It seems like they're getting things together better. Thank you, Eagle Moss. I love having all these ships. I can't wait to have more. And hope the collection continues to grow. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. Thank you for watching. And keep on keeping on.